Seven Lamb Productions presents The Walk Episode 4 We ended up sleeping near the lake in a small patch of woods that wasn't labeled private property. The next morning we got up and continued our trek. We walked along Lake Whatcom while the sun poked in and out of the clouds. What do we have here? We all stopped walking as a lady came down her steps from her small yellow house. A man stood on the porch above her. Where are you all hiking to? Would you believe us if we said Key West? Key West? Florida? That's a pretty long hike. What are they doing, Janet? The man made his way downstairs. Where are you headed to? They're going to Key West, Daniel. All the way to Key West. That's right. You have enough food? Water? We actually just refilled our water at the lake. You're drinking lake water? Oh, we have a water filter. Daniel, do we still have those snack packs? Uh, There should be some in the cupboard. Come, you're not in a rush, are you? Come up to the porch. I'll make you some sparkling water with cucumber, and you can have some trail mix. Chase shrugged his shoulders. Sure. We sat on the older couple's porch and talked about our journey. They were very intrigued and bombarded us with questions. Why was the first question. Then came, how long did you think it'll take? Then, did you prepare? (laughs) Then, how many miles is it? And so on and so forth. We sat on their porch for about an hour. We asked them about their house and the lake. They had lived there for nearly 30 years now. They had just retired last year. Well, I think it's marvelous what you're doing. Do it while you're young. That's why we decided to do it now. We all recently graduated, and we thought it would be a perfect time. And you two? How long you been dating? It wasn't a wild stab in the dark. Liz was sitting on Chase's lap the whole time. Two years. Beautiful. Wow, 24 hours a day for half a year? You two must really love each other. Well, Daniel, look at them. They're obviously in love. This trip will only strengthen your love. That's what we're hoping for. That was the moment I started to tune everything out. After another 20 minutes, we all departed. They gave us each two snack packs of trail mix. Isaac ate his right away, but everyone else saved theirs for later. They were really nice. I am loving this. We took a ride on nine and headed south towards Cedro Woolley. Okay, let's play Desert Island. Desert Island? Desert Island. What the hell is Desert Island? I don't know, but I'd rather name desserts than books or whatever. Really? You want to tease yourself like that? Fine, fine. Desert Island. Okay, you can choose one book, one album, one movie, and one video game. Wait, we're on a deserted island, right? Yes. 
Then how are we playing these games and watching these movies? Is there a TV? It's the game, Anders. Just trying to figure out where all this stuff is going to plug into. I'll go first. I knew Chase was just trying to entertain us. Everyone usually had headphones on and we normally walk single file along the road's shoulder. But Highway 9 seemed less traveled, so we all bunched up. Everyone took their headphones out to play along. My one album would be The Suburbs by Arcade Fire. My one book would be The Great Gatsby. My one video game would be Final Fantasy VII. And my one movie, Stand By Me. Stand By Me? I thought Goodfellas was your favorite movie. Me too. It is, but it's not always an easy watch, you know? Stand By Me is so rewatchable. Final Fantasy VII, one playthrough. It has no replayability. Sure it does. Liz, you go. Hmm, all right. Um, let me think. Um, I guess I would go Water for Elephants. The movie? No, the book. Good, because that movie sucked. You saw it. Eh, Emily made me go. Robert Pattinson, he needs to stick to cheesy vampire flicks. Didn't Emily drag you to, like, all the Twilight movies, too? I really liked Emily. Water for Elephants, the book. Uh, video game. Um, I don't know, Ocarina of Time, maybe? My movie would be Breakfast Club, and album would be Multiply. Who's that? Ed Sheeran. Of course. John? Well, definitely Jaws. I watch it anytime it comes on TV. Never get tired of it. My favorite video game, I'd pick Uncharted 2. It has a good story. My album would be London Calling, and my book, Catcher in the Rye, bitches. Oh, wow. The Great Gatsby and Catcher in the Rye. Really going out on a limb with your classics, guys. Don't strain yourself too much. I have more respect for Liz picking a book based on a shitty movie. Anders, the movie was based on the book. Whatever. What can I say? I like classic literature. All right. My turn. Book? The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Movie? Seven. Album? Unknown Pleasures by Joy Division. Video game? Bioshock. Really? That's surprising. Why? Because I have good taste? Because I expected you to name something like Dumb and Dumber and an album by Weird Al. I can be quite sophisticated. You shallow-minded simpletons wouldn't understand. Isaac, your turn. Um, I'd say maybe... I don't know. I like Black Flag and... I don't know. Are you okay? My feet are killing me. I think I counted seven blisters this morning. Band-aids aren't working, huh? Yeah, they were. Not so much anymore. Do you think we can make it to Cedro Woolley by nightfall? Why? I just checked the weather, and there's a huge storm heading this way. It's supposed to hit around 8 or 9. Your phone's working? I have nothing. What service provider do you have? T-Mobile. That's why. They don't have a good signal in rural Washington? They don't have good signal, period. What's your point, Anders? If we reach Cedro Woolley, we should all pull our money together and get a motel room for the night. Huh? I wouldn't mind that. You mean a hot shower? We are getting ripe. John? I'm fine with it. Isaac? Sure, yeah. How far is Cedro Woolley? Twelve more agonizing miles. So four more hours. I say five with breaks. Yes, breaks. Breaks are good. Okay, let's get a motel room for the night. We reached a small motel and ended up getting a room. It was nice having a TV and a bed, even though I wouldn't be sleeping in it. There were two beds, but Chase and Liz would share one bed, and Isaac and Anders would share the other. I offered to sleep on the floor, still better than the ground in a tent on the rain. Hey guys, Liz and I are going to run over the Dairy Queen before the storm hits. You guys want anything? 
Really living off the land, huh? No, I'm alright. Are you paying? No. Nah, then I'm fine. Okay, good talk. Anders watched TV as Isaac took a shower. I sat on my phone checking social media, postponing my writing. That felt good. A week without showering sucks. Dude, we've been walking for four days. When was your last shower? Yeah, I meant, yeah, it was four days ago. Uh-huh. I decided I should do my laundry since I had the time and the ability to do so. I slid my phone in my pocket and got up from bed. Guys, I'm gonna go do some laundry. Do you mind too? I'll split it with you. Yeah, that's fine. But I don't have any quarters on me. Or cash. I got it this time. I pulled the garbage bag out of the small can by the desk. Throw everything in here. Isaac, you too. Thanks. Dark clouds loomed over the horizon. I saw the flash of lightning, but heard no thunder. I went to the empty laundry room. There was a washer and one dryer. I brought my journal with me and my iPod, put on my headphones, picked a playlist full of soft R&B and jotted down the events of the last few days. A book on the walk. Not a fan of nonfiction, but maybe it would stir something. Maybe I'd be able to find a story within a story. It was storming now. The clothes were in the dryer, almost done. I'd written a lot. I'd also doodled a bunch of nonsense. Oh man, it's really coming down out there. Yeah, it is. Nice to not be sleeping in a tent right now. I know. You're not using the washer, are you? No, I'm almost done with the dryer. Okay. What? Is that your journal? Yeah, I thought I'd start jotting down ideas. About? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. The walk? Yeah. So my idea was pretty good, huh? Admit it. It'll help get things started for sure. I know you want to write fiction, but maybe if you just start writing, something else will come. That's why I started. I'm going to keep doing my blog, so if you need ideas, we can help each other. Yeah, sure. I like to think of myself as somewhat creative. Liz? Yeah? Can I ask you a question that hopefully isn't too personal? She started the wash and hopped onto the washer. Shoot. What if this walk doesn't rekindle your relationship with Chase? Then it doesn't. Well, what will you do? Move. Move? Like, move where? Georgia. Most of my family lives there, and I've been wanting to move back. I put it on hold because of school and because of Chase, but school's over, and if Chase and I don't work out... Oh. Huh. <laughs> I have a plan. I see that. Clothes are done. I took all the clothes out of the dryer and threw them in the bag. 
All right, well, I'll see you back in the room. John? Yeah? Things are going to get slightly less awkward between us, right? Like, soon? Hope so. Good. I walked out into the storm. Okay, the way I see it, there are two paths we can take. I walk back into the room to see Chase, Isaac, and Anders all laying on one of the beds, staring at Chase's phone. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? We're just going over the possible routes. Hey, where's Liz? She's doing the laundry. Yeah, making the chick do laundry. High five. What is wrong with you? A lot of things. And to believe Emily left you. Her loss. Her gain. I dropped the bag of clothes on the ground and sat on the bed. So what's next? That's what we're discussing. There are a few ways we can go. We're on 20 right now. We can follow that all the way through North Cascades National Park. Or we can continue south and cut over on 2. Through the Wenatchee National Forest. What about 90? That's more south. Still cuts through a lot of forest. What if we head down 5 all the way to 84? And Oregon? That's a lot of extra miles. What's the shortest distance? To what? It depends on which way we want to head. Well, we're already on 20. Why don't we cut over now? Through the North Cascades. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It's mountainous, right? Yeah. It'll be tough and probably take 3 or 4 days to get through. We'll need to make sure we're stocked on food and water but sounds like a plan to me. Isaac appeared worried. I wondered if the walk was already taking a toll on him. So tomorrow we'll follow 20. Everyone nodded. Although I should ask Liz's opinion before we make solid plans. She won't give a shit. What input will she have? Still, would like to include her. She's no Sacagawea and we're no Lois and Clark. Lewis, man. It's Lewis. We all stayed up pretty late watching TV. In the morning, the storm was gone. Chase went to the front office to check us out while we all packed our bags. Where's Isaac? He went outside. He said he had to return a call or something. Oh. Checked out. I think we should get a cheap motel room more often. It's nice being able to shower and do laundry. If we split the cost five ways, then it's not bad at all. We all finished packing, except Isaac. Where is he? It must have been an important call. I want to start walking. Chill out, Chase. It's only nine. We waited around for another 20 minutes, then Isaac walked in. He stood by the door, awkwardly. What took you so long, man? What's wrong? Guys, I have to quit. We all stood outside the motel. Isaac had called a cab and was waiting for it to pick him up. Cab was going to take him to Bellingham International Airport so he could fly home. 
I don't get it. I don't have money. I talk to my student loan advisors and my parents. My parents aren't willing to help me out. I didn't even tell them I was doing this trip to begin with. I need to get back and find a job. I gotta start paying off my debt. You didn't save up any money? I saved up some. What's some? Not enough. It's been four days, man. I'm sorry. Chase, relax. You don't have to be sorry, Isaac. Shit happens. Yeah, but this sucks. Doesn't this suck? It is what it is, man. We were supposed to do this as a group. There's no way you can get an extension on your loans? I already got an extension. Which was probably true. Isaac graduated a year before us. There's got to be a way. Are you going to fund this trip? I really thought they may give me another extension, but they won't. Let me talk to them. Chase, lay off. He can't do it. Now, I'm grumpy, and there's a diner across the street. I'm getting a coffee. Liz hugged Isaac. Take care, Isaac. We'll see you when we get back. Sorry you couldn't stick around. Liz jogged off across the street. And your parents won't help you? No... When the cab pulled up, we all said our goodbyes. Isaac climbed in, and a moment later, the cab was gone. Damn. And then there were four. Anders, can you not? I don't want to brag, but I did call it. The Walk Written by Robert M. Lamb Edited by Amber Simpson and Robert M. Lamb Starring Jack Austin as John Nick Engelhard as Chase Ariel Zadok as Liz Robert M. Lamb as Anders Jose Caraballo as Isaac Co-starring Matthew Manning, Brian Messick, Gene Lamb, Brett Wilkins, Adam Iben, Anthony Grimm, Shannon McCarthy, Mike Lenhart, John Piscatello, Ashley York, Ashley Wilkins, Ryan Grosjean, and Jenny Bailey. Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com and Dylan Mixer at dmixmusic.com If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to rate and review on iTunes. This has been a Seven Lamb Production.